all right so now we'll look at the right interface enabled special checkbox or special property so when you write uh, interface enabled property is checked you can actually write the data directly in the inbound table okay so let's look at the features this ADSO is the successor for the obsolete type of the source system web service push if you remember we had a previous types of functionality in BW which is a web service push so write interface enabled is the replacement for that the interface can be integrated with the following solutions DS SAP data services on premise SAP cloud platform integration CPI NetWeaver process integration PI data hub SAP data hub and SAP CPI data services which is also uh, supported so using these interfaces you can write the data directly in the inbound table okay and this write interface enable property can be used for standard ADSOs and staging ADSOs but not together with inventory or planning enabled if you have enabled inventory or planning checkboxes then you cannot use the write interface enabled in conjunction with these options the data in this ADSO can be moved to the inbound table using a tool such as data services via or via SAP cloud platform integration by a push mechanism remember that so it's not a pull it's a push mechanism the API for writing the to the inbound table of this ADSO is not released for third party uh, and you can use two methods RFC or HTTP to load the data in the inbound table of the ADSO and there are two possible procedures either you send the data without a request or you send the data with a request so with with a request for every uh, call a new internal request is generated but with uh, the sorry that's a without without a request but if it is with a request then there is a particular sequence which uh, which is used which is open send the data and then close the request so this is with the request and without an internal request will always be generated so now let's look at the right interface enabled with standard ADSO so if you have standard ADSO you will have the three tables okay change log is optional but in this scenario let's assume change log is there so again all these interfaces SAP data hub data services PI and CPI they will push the data and they will send the data to inbound table and from there on the process is a regular compression or activation process the right interface enabled can also be used with staging ADSO here the scenario is inbound queue only and here there is just one uh, table so the data is pushed to the inbound uh, table and then if you want to extract it to the further targets you can do a full or delta from inbound table okay so now let's look at the features the following properties apply the data is transferred in internal format for example date is uh, 8 digit yyyymmdd and time is 2359.59 so this internal format is used only after images can be loaded that means there can be only override functionality RFC function module which are used uh, can be uh, or, or are they are in the group RSO underscore push because it uses the push mechanism and for the HTTP loads you can find find the URLs of each ADSO in the properties and template URL view so under that view you will get the URL for that DSO and use that URL in your HTTP which is JSON or XML push after the data is written to the inbound table then later on the processing is same as a standard process of compression or activation fields of type currency CURR are transferred in the standard format and during the loading process the decimal places is changed to the SAP standard format so if you have one two three four JPY is transferred due to the currency Japanese yen the value is saved in the internal format of 12.34 so a decimal factor which is a standard SAP format will be applied so this is about the right interface enabled ADSO next we will talk about field based versus info object based ADSOs